As Washington County's creator and manager of the Water Conservancy District for more than three decades, Ron Thompson can't imagine where this county would be without building Quail Creek Reservoir. At a cost of $23.5 million, the holding reservoir plays a crucial role in the county's drinking water supply. Thompson is the mastermind behind the system that brings in the water from the county's primary source, the Virgin River. While the Conservancy's done a good job of keeping the network plugged in with one source, Thompson says it's time to think about diversifying. It also would be a mistake to put all of our marbles in one basket. And that's where we're at really. We're tied to the Virgin River to the extent that if anything happens, uh, that we don't have an ability to bail ourselves out with something else. The former county attorney is also responsible for every major water infrastructure project in Washington County, which consists of 250 miles of networked pipeline that feeds water to storage holding tanks in all of the surrounding cities. Water isn't jurisdictional in its nature. In other words, it doesn't just fall in St. George or Ivan's or uh, It's it's a resource that needs to be available to all these communities. So these reservoirs are critical to that function, but the pipeline network that literally goes from Virgin uh, all the way to Ivins and up into Snow Canyon allows us to seamlessly move water back and forth. These communities, particularly in the water arena, work very well together. During the hot summer months, the demand for water goes up. While climate change and drought play heavy roles in the need for water, Thompson said it's especially important to plan for the future, which is what brought him to his current position. The fact that I really was a farm boy and realized that water was fundamental to anything we did and had a deep concern of, and this was back in the late 70s, early 80s, are we going to have a water plant here that provides for these future generations that I could see were uh, coming in here, whether we we expect it or not, we need to have a better water plan. The Quail Creek Water Treatment Plant began as a 10 million gallon a day water plant. It now has the capacity of producing 60 million gallons a day. It takes a lot of infrastructure and knowledge to make drinking water safe. And it really all starts here in this lab and having the right equipment so they can analyze it. Uh, sometimes they experiment with what they have to do to make sure that when the water leaves here it's safe and gets the end user in a safe product. Washington County Commissioner Zachary Renstrom is more than qualified to take on this new position. Hired by the board, he's a civil engineer with an emphasis in water resources. And just like Thompson, he's also an attorney. He too wants to help future generations. I'm doing this for my children because I really want to, my children to be able to live here in Washington County. Water is a big issue and, and we've got some really big decisions coming up in the next few years. You know, he's got a law degree and an engineering degree, and he has a great ability to work with people. I just think he'll do a phenomenal job. Already serving on the Washington County Water Conservancy District Board, Renstrom says he'll take a proactive approach in educating the public on the facts of the Lake Powell Pipeline. Because a lot of these, these things are things that people don't understand need to be clarified. We can have disagreements, and we can disagree about what, what options we should choose, but at least we should all agree on what the facts are and we should make a decision based on the facts and not based on something like a hearsay rumor out there. With at least four more projects still in the works, Thompson is looking forward to passing along the future pipelines to Renstrom. Obviously I'd like to see Ash Creek under construction, the Sand Hall Regional Pipeline finished, and the final permits in our hand on the uh, Lake Powell project. There's still, you know, we're trying to lay the foundations for financing that project, and I don't suspect I'll be here when it's being designed, but, but once that's done, then the, you know, Zach's challenge and the board is going to be to get a finance plan of how we're really going to pay for it. We've put some uh, suggestions together, and I suspect they'll probably follow those. But As for Thompson, in his future retirement? Well, I'm going to keep busy. I've got 15 grandkids, and I spend a plan to spend a little more time there. I've got a, a small agricultural operation and we'll spend some time there and uh, then we'll see what else. Maybe I'll go back and practice law, who knows. <laughs> In the meantime, future generations will be thanking Thompson, whether they knew him or not, for the legacy of water he leaves behind. Uh, 
the legacy that I want to leave is that when people work together and they don't care who gets credit, wonderful things can happen. In Washington County, Melissa Anderson, CEC News.